Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we back with Bel Air and we're all caught up. So Man. we're in. <laughs> Woo! All right, so this is episode five. PA to, to LA. LA, baby. Man. They, def they definitely threw a curveball on us on this episode. I wasn't ready for this. I we were hoping to learn more about Jeffrey. Yeah. But we didn't get no Jeffrey this episode. None. I said, what are you assassin at? But we got plenty of Trey. So let's let's that. We're going to Oh, boy. Yeah. Lord. So we know Trey is on his way to L.A. Will picks him up. He excited. He like, dog, this junk is dope. This junk is fire. And I'm like, yes, this is an opportunity for Trey Just to see something surprised. in the world that he's never seen before. He's mm -hmm. so impressed. And so when they get to the mansion, the first thing he says is, you know what? Um, I know you can't wait to get back, go back to Philly. And you can see the look on Will's face was like, like who said that uh, I wanted to come back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I was like, hmm, is this, this gonna, gonna be a problem? Is this gonna pose a problem, man, with them too? But I said, well, maybe, you know, Trey just got there. He excited. This is his friend. Yeah, his friend. He want I mean, you know, of course it was my friend. I miss him too. I, yeah, I want him to come back home. Back, too. Yeah. I want you back on the block. I want you to come back home. So this episode was um Hillary's influenced them with what with a dinner for the people the influence the house people. I was confused yeah. at first because I thought yeah. that I thought she would... got into the house, yeah. she was gonna prepare a yeah. dinner for them. I didn't realize that all the influencers was coming over to the mansion, right? Yeah, I, I yeah, I ain't Until that. it happened. Yep. But before that, on on our Viv had called uh Will's mom and basically was telling her that hey, I think Will should stay in LA because there's more opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know, he's growing. He's making friends. And of course, you know, and mama's response be like, so you trying to replace me? I was like, come on now. <laughs> like, I want my boy here. I want to finish raising my boy. He he's supposed to be in Philly. Uh but I was shocked because I, I was like, I didn't know that Uncle Phil he was in him. on was in on it too because you just go back to episode one, episode two. He wanted him gone. Home. Everybody was yeah, watching. It was, it was another, yeah. And, yeah, it was almost like was there an episode between these two episodes that y'all <laughs> just crunched down and just said y'all will figure out that they are all to the good because I'm like Will was kind of on shaky ground. Oh, he was the on. Not kind of. He was on shaky yeah. ground. And then this episode, it's like he's gotten his footing. Like he's yeah. found his flow. He's confident in the new way of life mm -hmm. and the <clears throat> bougie that comes along with it. Like yep. he's explaining things to Trey. And I'm <laughs> like, where did this will come from? Because last episode, we still was kind of, you know, we, we had... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there definitely was a lot of editing in this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, before we got to the to the influence of dinner, Trey comes in the house and he's impressed by the mansion. He was like, is, is this what he said? This is an art gallery? Or, you know, this is a house? <laughs> yeah, Willis like, is played in the paintings and he was like, your auntie got you quizzed out on this, don't yeah. you? <laughs> so, there was one part of the episode before they had to go down to the dinner. Will had told Trey that, you know, we have to put on suit coats. Uh -huh. And Trey was like, I ain't, you know, I ain't putting that on, you know, like, wait a minute, are, are these people changing you? I guess said, oh, here you go, you know. And Will was and, like, no, but it's for a dinner. This yeah, is what this is how we do. do it. You know what it reminds me of, like, I don't know if you all know, if you follow us on our lifestyle channel, I'm very open about the fact that I used to be an atheist, so I didn't go to church. So the first time I got invited to church and it was like, oh, you have to wear a dress and you, first of all, even being all freaking female, I don't like dresses <laughs> to this day. And I was like, I can't wear a pair of slacks? No, you have to wear a dress when you come to church. All the way down to your ankles, Mike. You know, Southern Baptist. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, mm, this is some BS. I felt Trey on that, like, mm -mm, this is some BS. Like, you over here changing and you want me to change with you? I, I ain't got it to get. But I like before the dinner that, um, Will had had the conversation with Hillary, and I said, well, look at Hillary being grown and giving uh, grown advice yeah, yeah. this episode was like, you know, what if I wanted to stay 
should I feel bad for wanting to stay or should yeah. I go back? And Hillary gave him some sound advice. Sometimes you doing what you feel is best for you disappoints those people that you feel are depending on you. Yeah, she know firsthand. And I said, God, <laughs> don't it if you ain't never lying. It was crazy because the last episode we were talking about how it is when your lives go Going in different paths yeah. with the people that you love or you've been around your entire life. It's not that you've changed. It's that I have been exposed to new things. Yeah. And new things are now, oh, I didn't know that there was the... The possibilities are out there are endless. Right. I didn't know that, as he was saying, in the four corners of your own world, yeah. you don't know that, oh, you can yeah. do this, or, oh, you can do that. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, um, we see Uncle Phil actually give on... Uh, <laughs> Look, when, when you do so many shows, yes, yeah, yeah. all the days are right because I want to call Will's mom of um, Natalie so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Tyler Perry, my own network. Um, the lady that plays Will's mom's name was Natalie on another yeah. show. So now we want to call Auntie Viv a uh, bye ah, yep. from Queen Sugar. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but Aunt Viv, uh, give, no, Uncle Phil gives Aunt Viv a little history lesson on the influences that are coming to the dinner and it was um it was three it was three of them and he was letting them know that these ain't no just chip off the blocks they making like millions of dollars a year <laughs> but except there is one influence is two black dudes that yes, so it was four of them yes yeah, it, it was four influences yeah but, what, you know, what yeah. Was that five? What I mean. but he put <laughs> he put emphasis on the black dudes because they like to do pranks so uh, I'm glad that uh, Uncle Phil did that because Aunt Vibe viewed being an influencer online as not a real Auntie job. Viv. I mean, Auntie Viv as a real job. And a, and, a lot of people, that, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people in the world Don't view it like that. Yeah, But being an influencer, you, you make some pretty good money, I'm telling you. You can make enough money to pay bills. Hello. Do you think we were filming on vacation because it's fun? Read between the lines, man. Uh -huh. Read between the lines. So I'm so glad, like I said, I'm so glad that he did his research on them. So that gets to the influencer dinner, and it's going good. It's going yeah, great. Really too good for me. I was like, yeah. what is about to happen? So we see Trey, you know. Trey is sneaking liquor. I'm <laughs> Flying. So when they were at the table, he was sitting beside Carlton. So uh, Will was um, entertaining the, the black guys. Uh -huh. And he was kicking it, and Trey was just off in the world by himself. Then he just started looking at Carlton. out like, that was that brown look. Of and I was <laughs> like, why is he looking at Carlton like brown that? Brown look. Yeah. That brown look will tell you that I should fight you. Yeah. <laughs> For no reason. I should fight you. Yeah, you buy your nick and choke you out. <laughs> you think you better than uh, me, yeah. don't you? <laughs> that brown look will hear you. Yeah. You better than me, don't you? <laughs> so, Trey goes and proceeds and tells Carlton the truth of why Will is there. Because I forgot that Will never told Carlton right, it's <laughs> why he was there. Better education. So when Trey told him that Will was there because of the gun charge and that Uncle Phil got him out, Carlton was like, like looking at like looking at his so daddy like he like he wanted to go over there and shoot him himself. So in my mind, I was like, okay, did Carlton get a charge or something? And he, yeah, his yeah. father made him actually pay for what he did? Yeah. Like, what was that about? Yeah. But mm -mm. we still ain't got we it. We still don't really know. But we know there is something that's connected to this anxiety that he had. Because you, yeah. you just don't get anxiety for nothing. Well, you can. Huh? You can. You I mean, something has to happen. Anxiety. Sometimes. I, yeah, it's a trigger. Something Sometimes. Is that something? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so after that, Carlton decides to um, approach uh, Uncle Phil about it. Was like, what's all this that you're talking about, you know, being an upstanding man, being truthful, justice, but you got Will out of jail oh. on a charge. And Uncle, Uncle Phil was like, everybody deserves a second chance. And Carlton's like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to compare Will's crime to my anxiety? So at this point, we thought that it was going to come out of wow. what happened, yeah. but it still did not come out. Only thing that came out of the conversation was that Uncle Phil told Carlson to promise me that you ain't going to snitch, that you're going to keep this between us. 
I need your word. And Carlton said, yep, you have my word because it's worth something. I said, oh. <laughs> so in my mind, I'm thinking, I said, well, they don't push this Xanax thing on us when it comes to Carlton. Yeah. And then we have the anxiety disorder and whatnot. Yeah. Did Carlton get in trouble for abusing his medication? That's possible. Hmm. And maybe his father was like, no. I'm not going to bail you out. You're going to actually pay for this the and suffer the consequences because even Lisa alluded to, you don't know what he's been through, have you? You know, you don't know. And I'm like, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know Because maybe it'll make me feel bad or make me feel something towards Carlton. Because for right now, Carlton is just an a-hole. Even when Trey came to the mansion and he was coming down the steps and Will was like, hey, yo, remember C? Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he just got here. He yeah. Did, he did nothing. <laughs> nothing to you. He is one of those people that is hard to love. <laughs> but shout out to the actor that does, that plays Carlton. Yeah, I man. read somewhere where this guy was being harassed and and bullied because people were saying that he was ugly. Like, Listen, come on, bro. black people, we yeah. got to do better. Yeah. We maybe. really got to do better. Yeah. At the end of the day, can he help out? He no. But then if he goes and changes himself, the first thing we say is, "You're supposed to be happy with who you are, or be confident in the skin that you're in." Yeah. But when you are, you yep, get, you get that. It's <laughs> not winning. We gotta yeah. do better. We yeah. have to do better. Yeah, we do. So after um, Carlson got finished talking to his daddy, he went to the room where Will was at and let Will know that, hey, I know why you're here. I know, I know that you, I know you shot, you. I know that you shot somebody and you went to prison and my dad got you out. And you Will was like, like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yep, and then stay away from Lisa. So pretty much the, the rule is now I got something on you, stay away from my girl. Right, and he thought that he actually had one up because Lisa is trying to prepare, trying to uh, plan a memorial for her, her mm -hmm. mom. And so Carlton is helping her out with that. And Aunt Viv said whatever she needs for that, she can have it. So all day long, Carlton, hey, is, Carlton is running around with her, helping her with all that stuff. And he thought he was back in. He tried to kiss he her. He tried to kiss her. He was like, mm -hmm. my feelings ain't changed. So I which, said, Ooh. So which further let us know yeah, that she, she put him through, I mean, he put her through some skin. <laughs> Cause he was being so nice and she was in her feelings at that point, but not that far in her not feelings. Not that far. No. <laughs> so let me get through this right here and yeah. I'm out. Yup. <laughs> and at the uh, at the influencer dinner, this was another part that really uh, touched my heart was when the white guy was talking to Uncle Phil and yeah. was like, um, you know, with Hillary wanting to be an influencer, you know, you know, are you really excited about it? Or you wanted her to be a doctor or a lawyer? Or politics. Or politics or something like that. And he started talking about, you know, basically Hillary shouldn't even be here because we, you know, the She's pregnancy. Born early. Yeah, born early and all this. And basically he was like, I just want her to win. So I am in no way he's mad that she wants to be an influence. Matter of fact, I want her to win. I said, come on, dad. <laughs> and the white guy was like, man, I want you to be my dad. I said, hey, me <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. I need me one of them in my life. So, Lord have mercy. That, so that was crazy. You know, she wouldn't get the support from her her mom, but Uncle her dad Phil, got her it. Her dad, yeah. Daddy but girl. I do like, of course, <laughs> but I do like this. I like this whole setup because it's a teachable moment. Because even in our old lives, because we are influencers, <clears throat> There are so many times when people just look at us like, why are they in talking to a camera again? Yeah. Like, even my mom, she lives here and she just doesn't get it. Yeah. But then I'm like, you don't pay. Man, like, yeah. um, you, you do live here, right? So you do understand that we selling drugs. <laughs> one plus one equals two. But sometimes it takes other people to explain to it. Like the lady was explaining to Auntie Viv, like your artwork and your um, traveling around the world is something that I could film <clears throat> about and broadcast it in a way that you would never think of. Like the world is changing. Right. You take your experiences and turn them into something different. Right. And Auntie Viv was like, yeah. wow. Like I, so she never looked at it like that. She never that. looked at yeah. it like that. So sometimes what we think is play, play, or it's cute, or mm -hmm. you know, it's a phase, or it's not gonna last forever. Film lasts forever. That's right. <laughs> yep. You evolve with it, but film lasts forever. Yep. 
and people always want to see what's in the now, what's in the know. Yep. And see, uh, I know at first we had a hard time liking Uncle Phil. Yes. But Uncle like Phil, yeah, he's getting, he's a whole lot better because he, you know, the way he was treating Will, that especially when uh, with, with everything going down, we like back then you didn't want him. Now, 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 now he hot because he can help you win that, get your numbers up in that campaign. That's now you want him to stay. Look, but, everybody is so relaxed now. Like yeah. everybody got a like. I don't tap into my Philly again, yeah. and I'm hood bougie. Yeah. I said, where did this come from? Like, is there an episode I didn't <laughs> see? Say, this is the real Fresh this Prince of Bel-Air. This is Yamacraw. Yeah. This is the real Fresh Prince of Bel-Air right here. This is Yamacraw. No. <laughs> Yamacraw. So Uncle Phil is so cool, he done brought him, Will, and Trey tickets to the D-Smoke concert. I said, what you I like, what you know about D-Smoke? But I thought about a few episodes ago when, when, when he was talking to, when Uncle Phil was talking to Jeffrey, and Jeffrey was telling him that, hey, you need to meet Will where he is. Where he is. So we know that's one part of the change. Yeah. And then when Trey coming with him taking them to the D Smoke concert and showing that he definitely meeting them where they are. Yeah, and but, I like that he didn't drop them all for yeah. here's some tickets. He went with yeah. them. I like that. So when they got to the concert, they was getting ready, you know, they was just like Trey was just him, you know, both both of them was like just wild and like, yeah, this is dope. And then when they actually met D Smoke, Trey was like, "This, this D Smoke, you, like, this really, this real, really D Smoke." Yeah. And D Smoke was like, "You know, gotta get, get this dude, you know." Yeah, yeah. And he kinda... <laughs> Say three, two, one. Ding a ling a ling a ling. So uh, when they was on their way to go into the go into the concert because they got the VIP tickets, uh, Uncle Phil had told uh, Will and Trey to go head on. I gotta take care of a little bit of business. And guess who was at the D Smoke concert? Fred. Fred. And another guy, I don't know who he was, but basically we knew this was coming. They approached him about what he said about defunding, about defunding the police. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that he needs to take a different approach. And he was like, um, they all get millions of dollars, so we just snatch a few million dollars from y'all. It shouldn't be a problem because y'all should be able to still be efficient if y'all want to do the right thing. But I'm not changing my stance. And you can see Fred looking like, I'm mm -hmm. about to get you, sucker. And that yeah. whole thing about Will is going to come back. Yep. But when he said he had to go take care of some business, I said, dude, he got a little inkling that something is about to happen. Yeah. Because uh, the Viv is over there with Michael Ely. Yeah. Over yeah. there <laughs> yeah. looking at art exhibits. <laughs> yeah. And I said, there's, don't look him in his eyes, Uncle Viv. Don't look him in his eyes. If you look him in his eyes, he got you. <laughs> And I said, because he looked like he was ready to taste a yep. little bit of that chocolate uh -huh, yep. that day. And she looked like at any moment she was going <laughs> to dip her finger in the caramel. I said, did Uncle Phil feel that in his spirit? And he was going to go face <laughs> yeah. his wife. But no, it was food with Fred. I said, you better get off there with Fred. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and she over there with Michael. And he got that red wine and an exclusive spacing for her to create because I've stared at your paintings for hours. Uh, 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 and I don't forgive you for, for dropping no, no kids. kids out there I knew it was coming. Mm -mm. I knew it was coming. Mm -mm. No nope. kids. <laughs> nope. I still don't like Michael Healy for it. I still don't like it. You know they did that in real life, right? In my life it did. I don't <laughs> like him and I don't like Danny Glover. But all day we find out that Will had been telling Trey that, yeah, I'm coming back to Philly, you know, so because earlier in the episode, uh, Trey was telling Will that the, the basketball team hadn't went, been winning because Will was like, how the basketball team? And Trey was like, the basketball losing. team, we've been losing. But you know what? We ain't got nothing to worry about because you're going to come back and we're going to stay. So he been, they've been having this conversation all day. Yeah, so Will really wasn't saying yes, but he wasn't, he wasn't saying, saying no. no. Yeah. Um. So at the concert... Trey brings it up again, and Will lets him know that maybe I don't want to go back to Philly. And Trey straight loses it. It's like, you've been lying, bro. You come out here and let them change you, mm -hmm. and now you want to stay. Tell me how you will come back and help us with the basketball team, and yada, yada. And I was like, oh, man. It is. I said, heck of something good that it went bad. But... I, I had great judgment for Trey wow. because I was looking at it the wrong way. 
Okay. Um, and the reason why I was looking at it the wrong way, uh, because in Trey's mindset, his mindset is coming from where he grew up. Right. And I'm thinking about Will's mindset is coming from where he grew up. Even though they both in West Philly, they both in two households. Mm -hmm. So we find out that Will's mom been telling him that there's much more to life than the 14 square miles here in Philly. Philly yeah. But the question is, what has Trey Trey's parents been, been telling him? him? So if that seed was never sown to him that you can have more, he ain't thinking about leaving West Philly. He thinking that's this is home. Yeah. Anything that's outside of this, or if you here and you leave, you a sellout. You, you a, a trader. You soft. But for Will, it's like okay, this is another opportunity. This is more to life. And that's what he was telling Trey was like, it's, it's much more to life than what's in West Philly. Yeah. But you can't expect something to come out of somebody that was never put in them. That's so. so I, and true. I and I thought because I was gonna come on here and I was gonna rip Trey up. Part. But I thought about that because I was thinking like yeah. where I'm from, I, I I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to yeah. go nowhere. But once I got out no, and oh, experienced, no, yeah. experienced life, and it was like, whoa. And it's hard to even yeah. go back sometimes. Yeah, so I'm hoping that when Trey, you know, that Trey will eventually see the light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, we can't expect that out of him right now. Yeah, yeah because we have hometown loyalty. Like, yeah. you, you said it perfectly. When you leave, well, when you're there, you're always like, oh, when I go to get my degree and I'm going to yeah. come back and I'm going to build and do good things here in my community. But then when you get out, it's like, mm -mm, I can't, I can't. And then you see people that actually do do that and yeah. then go back and it's almost like they never left. Like, right. like whatever, I always say our hometown has a hold on people. Yeah. And once Black they get, <laughs> yeah, it's like, once they get there, it's like, there's this ceiling. And these people have all the potential in the mm -hmm. world. And I'm like, but it's the ceiling. And it, like Will, like Dave was saying, um, Auntie Viv was telling Vi, all these Vivs and Vi's, Lord Jesus, yeah. <laughs> that he has so many opportunities when he was um, out there with the frat brothers at the uh, Crawfish Bowl. Now they're starting to say, oh, he can do internships. He can do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, sky's the limit now. Yeah. And the mama wanted to be selfish. She was like, I haven't finished raising my boy. Mm -hmm. Your boy has now experienced more than what you can give him. Right. And <clears throat> that gift is to let it happen. Yep. Let it happen. Mm -hmm. Let it happen. Uh, this is another part of the episode that really like touched my heart. Like you said, Hillary was going through the whole episode, giving mad good advice. You know, they said maybe you need to be a counselor, girl. Yeah, never love. <laughs> That's what influencers yeah. are. Yeah, basically. without a license, some people don't have a license. So, um, from the influencer dinner, we saw Ashley asking the the girl that know a lot about sex. They said what she did, but I just took it that she know about sex. And so Hillary, <laughs> there's so, a term for it, but yeah, yeah. so because <laughs> Ashley was asking her, uh, you know, basically uh, about labels, yeah, and labels, like, you know, like if you're heterosexual, you know, asexual, uh, homosexual, and all that jazz. So basically, we're getting clarity, and the girl was letting her know whatever way you try to choose, you're whatever right. camp you right, either camp you right. So she, so Ashley talks to uh, Hillary. Hillary said. It's this person that I love I like. but I, and I like that I don't know if they like me. And Hillary was like, well, what's Except their name? And you could see Ashley was a little bit hesitant. And then he called, the, I, they called the girl's name. And she and was, like, was like, oh, that's a pretty name. That's a pretty name. So Ashley thought that Hillary was going to basically rip her a new one. She was going to auntie, yeah, aunt Viv her. Yeah, and so Ashley was like, "You, you not worried? You not bothered yeah. by this?" She was like, "No, no." She said, "I'm actually surprised that you have time <clears throat> yeah. to like somebody because you're forever trying to solve, trying to solve <laughs> so, the world's yeah. problems." <laughs> so that was a that was like a breath of fresh air. That yeah. And I thought it was beautifully handled. Yeah, it was. Even the way the lady explained it to Ashley was like, you don't have to define who you are and you will forever change. You yep. could be this way now and in another mm, season you of your life, live your life this way. And <clears throat> either way is correct. You know, my actual question, like uh, the word being a hypocrite is used very lightly. It is. And I would say I ain't going on, I'm, not, I'm not going on a, a, a real uh, rant here. But basically, a hypocrite is basically you telling somebody to do something that you're not doing yourself. Or you're telling somebody to do it and then eventually you stop doing it yourself. 
Mm. So I'm like, where is the room for you to change? So you might right. you might be preaching this or that today, but you but you go through life and something happens to you different, and, and you start changes. thinking differently. So that means you're moving differently. So you don't believe this no more. So does that make you a hypocrite? Y'all, yeah. y'all, let me know. I just throw oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> just throw that Yeah, yeah. No. Somebody had said that one day. I was looking at somebody's vlogs. And they were like, you know, you've changed. And she was like, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I am not the person that I was right. when I first started. I've grown. I've changed. Yes, there were some things I didn't do then that yeah. I shown up do now and vice versa. Right. Like you said, where is the room for people to evolve? Yeah. Because life is about growth. Yeah. It's about growth. If you're not growing, you're dying. Yeah, and that's that's the truth. You ought to you ought to be becoming better. So that's why you know I don't know why we on this train. Yeah. There's no such thing as competition, unless it's with you and you. That's right. Competition. You ought to be the only competition is you being better than the person you was yesterday. I have a shirt. Shout yeah. out to Power and yeah. Black. I might flash it on the screen right up in here if you want it. Go ahead and use code Lynette, save you 25% off. Yeah. But it's called Me Versus Me. me. That's yeah. my favorite shirt. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not in competition with nobody but myself. Exactly. So, now, back to the episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, Trey is, they back, Will and Trey is back at the house. And Will is still trying to get him to basically change his mind. Be like, bro, you know, this is a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. For for it could be for both of us. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna ask Aunt Aunt um, Viv if you can come to stay. So he wasn't right, trying to get on this for things. himself. Yeah. They were trying, you know, I, I'm I'm coming up, so I want you is to come it, up. Isn't that how it is though? Yeah. Yeah. When <laughs> yeah. you find better, you want all your friends to come along. Hey, we can be roommates. We can make this day work. And some people just don't want to come or yep. go. And it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. But in Will's case, it was real hard because. Mm -hmm. He, cause he said, Will said, Trey had been there for him ever since his father left. So that's years of friendship. I mean, and they don't got the yeah. tussling. Yeah, they, they got the Will almost fight. pushed yeah. him out. That, that's hard right yeah. there. Yeah, that's hard. So Trey decides that, hey, I'm out of here, bro. You done changed. You different. You want all this bougie skit? I'm out. This ain't me. And so when so we... It was you when you were at that concert. Yeah. <laughs> So when it was outside, I actually thought that Trey was go getting ready to change his mind because Will said, I'd realized that there was much more to life than West Philly. And Trey started walking and he was, he was looking like, I said, like, all right, maybe, maybe he's seeing the light. And Trey yeah. said, not me, bro. Not me, bro. I ain't saw But me. they both had tears in their eyes. Like, is it, man. That was a powerful moment. Yeah, it was a moment of like, you having to choose, you got something better. And you have to let you have to let go of something that you love you to get love. something better. <sighs> but these are kids, though. But you know, you know they kids. But man, such is life, though. Sometimes it is, it is. It's crazy because we were just talking about the Will Smith and the Uncle Phil in the real Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel Air when they had that moment about why my father didn't want yeah, him, uh -huh. and that was a powerful scene. Yeah, it was. Then you have the guy that's playing Will having a real powerful scene with his best friend. friend. Yep. Like, Wow. Yeah. Very, not as powerful, but very but, powerful. Yeah. Oh, but no, so I was surprised in this episode. <laughs> we see that Dwayne Martin is up in, up in Bel Air too. He so got to get that money. Yeah, so he's Steven. He is uh, Uncle Phil's campaign manager. And he is pissed. He is pissed. So he tell Uncle Phil that uh, basically what you did is good. <laughs> and it's bad. Cause you went too far to Yeah. So he had showed him a video uh, at the uh, influencer dinner where he was talking about um, Hillary, which was good. And but the video that he did at the skating ring talking about defunding the police, they equated that so like all these riots is going on in California, but he wanted to defund the police. <laughs> you can't win. Yeah, he can't win. But Uncle Phil was like, I'm still going to take my stance. But it's, it's good to see uh, old Dwayne Martin in this episode, man. Hey, he good said, to see you, bro. He said he's single ready to mangle it. He <laughs> says, money, I need that money. He need that influence of money, babe. <laughs> hey, we teach you courses. All right. Come on, get this good YouTube money. <laughs> they giving it to anybody. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> So then he went to go and he called his mama. And, and his, I said, hold your guns. <laughs> so I was like, here you go. He get ready to get sliced again. Mm -hmm. You know, first trade, then his mama. 
because we know where Aunt, where his mama said to Aunt Viv early in the episode that I want, I want to raise my son, me. Yeah, and this ain't a competition between me and yeah. you right now. You, you keep saying that while you got your son over at their house. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Will calls his mama, and he tells his mama that I want to stay. And she was like, no, no, you know, you know, it's always been me and you against the world. You know, your basketball team Since here, the trades here. you want to come back and be in trouble with <laughs> yeah. you? But I understood where she was coming from. Yeah. Like, this was only supposed to be temporary. It wasn't supposed to be a whole life change. So, you know, it was a blessing in the mess. You know, yeah. God bless the mess, however way you want to put it. And then once you clean the mess up, bring send my boy back. So in order for Will to kind of let her know where he was, he brought back up to her what he what, he, what she said, to, said him. to him said, the day that you get, the the day that you get you become creative. How, how did she say that? Thing? The day you are cur- courageous enough to wear the crown, something like that. Uh, she said that um. When you get courageous, your crown is, awaits you to wear it. Something like that. It's powerful, the way she said. So Will was like, I'm ready to wear my, I'm courageous now. I'm ready to wear my crown. Mm-hmm. And she couldn't even say nothing from that point. And I was like, dang, That's man. what you got to do sometimes. Use people's words against them. Yeah. Like, you remember when you told? Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> but, man, I was not expecting for Will and Trey's relationship to go south like that, man. But like, I'm hoping that... We're going to pray about it. Yeah, we're going to ask the Lord and we're going to pray and we fast. Gonna, ask we, the Lord to well, mend, I'm not going to fast. We'll ask the Lord to mend their relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to fast, though. Hey, you know, we can do a fast from 12 to 12, I'm, man. 24 hour fast, man. That they relationship you talking about back. midnight to noon? I can do that. Yeah, midnight to noon, man. Uh, I do that anyway. It's been fast anyway. <laughs> I just add trade and will on to the list. That's all. That's all. All right, y'all. We're going to catch y'all in episode six, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Two down. Holla! Boo!